Hello everyone and welcome to chemistry class. I'm, my name is Dola Oluwa Padumi and I'll be taking you through this class. Our topic for today is empirical formula and molecular formula. Well, I'm super excited about this class because this is one topic I really love in chemistry because it's quite easy. It is very easy. You know, quite easy is an understatement. All right, so let's proceed. Empirical formula. The empirical formula of a compound is its simplest formula. It informs us about one, the component element in the molecule of the compound, two, the, ra the ratio in which these elements are combined together. Empirical formula gives the whole number ratio of the component elements. Don't worry, I'll show that to you in um, um, examples that also say this. Well, a molecular formula of a compound gives the exact number of moles of atoms of the component element in one mole of the compound. Well, in most cases, the empirical and molecular formula are the same, while in others, the molecular formula is a simple multiple n of the empirical formula. So let me just explain that. So we have a compound called ethane. Its empirical formula is CH. Its molecular formula is CH bracket N, where N is 2. So we have it to be C2H2. Remember our definition. So here the molecular formula is giving us the exact number of moles of atoms of the component element. So it's showing here that the, the, um, the number of moles of um, carbon is 2, the number of moles of hydrogen is 2. Meanwhile, look, observe it that. The empirical formula didn't give us the exact number of moles. What it just did was to give us the information about the component elements that are present in this compound, which is carbon and hydrogen, and the ratio in which these elements are combined. Help you get that. Also, benzene. You see, we have compounds that have the same empirical formula but different molecular formula. We have benzene having the same empirical formula with a time. So, benzene is CH. Which molecular formula N is equal to 6? So we have C6H6. Again, the molecular formula showing us the exact number of moles of atoms of the component element. The exact number of carbon is 6. Exact number of hydrogen is 6. Where the empirical formula just showing us the component element in a molecule of this compound. All right, so the same with water and hydrogen peroxide. Let's move on to a work example. Find the empirical formula of a compound on analysis yielding the following as the reactant mass. We have the relative molecular mass of carbon. We have the mass of rather the reactant mass of carbon to be 2 gram, that of hydrogen to be 0 0.34 gram, that of oxygen to be 2.67 gram. I've outlined how you can solve problems with empirical formula. The first thing you do is write out your elements we have carbon we have hydrogen we have oxygen so what you do is divide each element each element mass the mass of each element it could be in grams like in this example we have in grams it could also be in percentage so you divide it with the relative um, molecular mass or relative atomic mass and that of um, carbon is 12 that of hydrogen is 1 and that of oxygen is 16 so let's work and um, what the next thing you do once you get your quotient that's the result from division you look out for the small for the lowest figure in that on that um, line and you divide the other numbers with that lowest number so that's what we've done here i'm going to explain that to you again so we have in this table uh, uh, elements listed out C H O, right? So we have the mass of carbon to be two gram, the mass of hydrogen to be zero point three four, the mass of oxygen to be two point six seven. The first thing you do is divide them with the relative at molecular mass. Relative molecular mass of carbon is twelve. Relative molecular mass of hydrogen is one, and that of oxygen is sixteen. I hope you're following me. So by the time you divide, you have that of carbon to be zero point one seven, hydrogen to be zero point three four, and oxygen to be zero point one seven. Now, if you observe, what is the lowest um, number in all of the results is definitely 0 0.17 okay so we're going to be dividing all by 0 0.17 so dividing all by 0 0.17 we have carbon to be 1 we have hydrogen to be 2 we have oxygen to be 1 in cases where we don't get our answers in whole numbers what you do is you round up the figures I believe you understand how to round up figures so 
okay let me just brush that up if you have for example 2.5 as your answer you know that you'll be rounding that up to three because of uh, because the number behind that two is five or where well, we have figures on five or more than five you add one but if for example you have difficulty with 2.3 you'll be rounding up it up to two okay so that's just a little brush up so we just uh, found the empirical formula which is showing us the element present in this compound so how to find molecular formula molecular formula are always um, in a multiple ratio yeah we have they, they can be in multiple of the empirical formula so and in the question we have yeah we have a relative molecular mass of the compound to be 60 gram per mole so we have here yeah, ch2o which is the empirical formula we put n which is close to 60. so um the relative molecular mass of carbon is 12 12 plus hydrogen is one and this is the atomic here it is having two atoms so we say one times two plus oxygen which is 16 which is equals to 60 so we have 30 n is equals to 60 if we open the bracket we divide both sides by 30 and we have our answers to be n equals to 2 easy peasy very simple so once we find n equals to 2 we put that and uh, we put we insert two in where we have n and we have our empirical formula to be c 2 h 4 o 2 or ch 3 c o o h this is an hydrocarbon and it is called an ethanoic acid so you can leave your answer in the first form c 2 h 4 o 2 but if you are conversant with um, chemical compounds you would know that this is ethanoic acid all right, in summary, I would have loved to give you more examples, but because of time, I'll just give you an assignment to try and I'd love to get feedback from you. The empirical formula of a compound is its simplest formula. The molecular formula of a compound gives the exact number of moles of atoms of the component element, while in some cases it is a simple multiple end of the empirical formula or the same with the empirical formula. So I have three assignments here for you to do and I hope to get your feed your feedback. Thank you for today's class.